Hello friends, Tom Downey here for NFL Daily on Chat Sports. The initial rush of free agency is over. Most of the big name players have signed. One position that hasn't had a ton of market movement so far is the safety position. So we're going to take a look now at Kenny Vaccaro, one of the top players left on the market overall in the NFL and one of the top safeties still left on the free agent market. Now Vaccaro played for the Saints last year, had a good but not great year. He has battled injuries in the past, but he is one of those hybrid type safeties. He can play some nickel corner, can play some safety, can play slot, can play some free safety, strong safety. He can do a little bit of everything for you in the secondary. And although he does have the, the history of injuries and has had some up and down play, I'm a big fan of Vaccaro's and he, I believe he is a starting caliber safety in the NFL. And with the market for safeties yet to really emerge and with not many safeties having signed, a guy like Vaccaro should have plenty of interest from several safety needy teams, especially now that Tyron Matthew is off the free agent market. So let's take a look at five teams that could sign Kenny Vaccaro and his top five landing spots. First up is the Indianapolis Colts. They have one big check mark for them. They got plenty of cap space. They got $75 million. Haven't made any major moves so far yet in terms of adding players. They've been trying to build through the draft. But a guy like Vaccaro gives them an option to pair with someone that's almost as good, not quite though, as Malik Hooker, and it's an upgrade at safety. Matthias Farley isn't terrible, but he can be upgraded. TJ Green, a former second-round pick, kind of looks like a bust. Clayton Gathers is an okay player. But a guy like Vaccaro to pair with Hooker, I think really improves that Colts secondary and I think is a big upgrade for them at safety. Fourth up, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I think Vaccaro would be a nice fit with Justin Evans. And Vaccaro can do some of the things that Evans has shown he can do. He can play in the slot as well. But I think Vaccaro is a big upgrade over what the Bucs have at Saints right now. TJ Ward, I don't think he comes back. Chris Conti somehow keeps getting work for the Bucs and in the NFL. Not really sure how. And then Keith Tandy is a backup spe slash special teamer. I think Vaccaro, who isn't going to be expensive as a guy like Matthew, would be a nice number two safety for the Bucs to pair with Justin Evans. Third up, the Carolina Panthers, and boy, do they need safety help. Now, cap is an issue for Carolina. They made a big move to go and get a guy like Dontari Poe. It doesn't give them a ton of money to spend on safety, but Vaccaro, I don't think, should come close to taking up all of that $15 million in cap space. And you look at what the Panthers have right now, and it's a bunch of, who's that guy? Mike Adams is an aging veteran. Uh, Jairus Bird is a free agent, wasn't good anyway. Colin Jones, Demetrius Cox, Desmond Southward. Those just aren't great players. If the Panthers can get a guy like Vaccaro, he actually might become their best safety on the roster. Let's get to the Pittsburgh Steelers at number two. Now, they've cut Mike Mitchell, haven't cut J.J. Wilcox yet. Only $9 million in cap space doesn't factor in the, the signing of John Bostic either, but they do need another safety. Now, maybe that ends up becoming Wilcox. I think, though, he's better off as a number three safety, not a starter. I like Sean Davis, but they need another safety to pair with Davis. Maybe a free safety, a true free safety, is a better fit for Pittsburgh, but I do think Vaccaro makes sense, and he's certainly an upgrade over guys like Malik Golden and George. Jordan Dangerfield. Despite the Pittsburgh Steelers being a good fit, I think the best fit and the most likely spot is the Dallas Cowboys. Only $8 million in cap space. They can free up more as needed. They are going to move Byron Jones to cornerback, which opens up another hole at safety. And oh, by the way, we already know the Cowboys like Kenny Vaccaro because they almost traded for him last year during the draft. There was almost a Kenny Vaccaro for Orlando Skandrick trade that went down. Now you look at the Cowboys safety depth chart. Jeff Heath, who I am not a huge fan of, and I've mentioned that many times on the Cowboys report. Xavier Woods I like as a free safety. I think you can put Kenny Vaccaro in that strong safety, kind of nickel corner hybrid role. I think he'd be a day one starter for the Cowboys and an upgrade over guys like Kayvon Frazier who can tackle and is a good box safety, but isn't that great in coverage. And I do think he's better than Jeff Heath as well. Jameel Showers and Marquise Tenhoff, uh, those are backups. Probably not going to make the roster anyway. So the Cowboys need a safety. I think Vaccaro is an ideal fit for Dallas. To recap, your top five landing spots for Kenny Vaccaro. The Colts, the Bucks, the Panthers, the Steelers, and at number one, it's the Dallas Cowboys. That's it, folks. Follow me on Twitter at WhatGoingDowny for more NFL coverage. Subscribe to the channel for more off-season news around the NFL and all the major sports, and we'll see you next time.